YouTube, what's good? Leak Auto Repair. We're going to do a quick review. What I'll be showing you in a second. Uh, matter of fact, just show you right now and stop playing around. So, we all see that right there. Uh, 4K, oh, 4K Ultra HD snap on. We got the item number uh, on the top right, right there. Uh, S, actually in the middle, on top of the snap on logo. SSX18P116. Now, this is from Snap On, so pretty much it's an action camera. Those who don't know what an action camera is, you ever heard of a GoPro? Then you know what an action camera is. So, whoever came up with the idea of the whole GoPro thing was a smart guy. It's not that they came up with something that somebody could have came up with a long time ago. It's the fact that they were, they was able to squeeze uh, a nice camera that records great quality and something that can be, like, literally, you can fit it in the palm of your hand. And like squeeze on it. it's that small or whatever so gopro has been out for some time now for some years now i don't know how many years but it's been around, i don't think it's been around for a decade but it's been around for a good a good time now so this right here uh my man wrench and dread get over to his instagram just the way i said it wrench and dread no ing it's just i n uh get over to his instagram he don't have a youtube i'm trying to get him to get a youtube channel so we getting there but uh for the most part, he came in here yesterday, and um, he showed me, he was like, yo, uh, you know, check this out. And I'm like, I didn't even expect, uh, you know, for him to be just popping up with something like this. But when he said, I said, yo, I got to do, let me do a review on this joint or whatever. So he said, go ahead or whatever. So he pretty much he gave me the day to make use of this. And then, because um, I think he want to start filming on it tomorrow. So as you can see. Uh, whatever features and well, it lists right here what it comes with. So it's basically is a two inch LCD screen comes with Wi Fi. Well, Wi Fi capability. Uh, I don't. Well, the only time I use Wi Fi on my GoPro, uh, I got the Hero Four. I use it for the app, and within the app, I can control it uh, remotely. So that's what I will use it for uh, Wi Fi. I don't know about this. You can do the same thing. Well, maybe it's it's, it's just to figure out. Uh, if you see uh, all down here, uh, these like little adapters and little mounts and stuff like in the base for it and everything and a couple, I think it's some 3M type pad that, whatever, uh, you got your, uh, your, your housing, your screen, whatever, charging cord, cleaning cloth, all that, whatever, everything, what comes in here, it's right here. So, flip it to the side. Um, like I said, right here, it tells you, I mean, so y'all get a good view. Uh, it tells you what it comes with. So the SD card, it does come with the battery. Don't worry about the battery. The S now, one thing I don't like about the battery, uh, well, we'll get into that in a second. But uh, let's talk about what it includes. So, like I said, waterproof case, back door, USB cable. You got your mouse. You got your base. You got your clips. Uh, the the SD card is only four gigs. Four gigs. A lot of you not. You probably only get like ten minutes of recording. Not even ten minutes. Probably. I don't know. I could be wrong. But ten, fifteen minutes of recording. That's not a long time versus on what I use for my GoPro. Uh, the SD card is a 32 gig and I get at least like an hour. I take it back two hours and 11 minutes of recording. So uh, maybe this could get you 15 minutes or 20 minutes. I don't know. But with the 32 gig, I could get, like I said, two hours and 10 minutes of recording. Exactly. That's what it says. So let me flip it around to the uh, other side. Uh, see, this stuff right here pretty much just lists the specifications. Uh, it is 4K, as we said. You could step down to 2.7K at 30 frames per second. It does 1080p at 30 frames. It does 60 frames. Uh, let me, someone's calling my phone. Let me, uh, add to, like, screen it. But let me redo this again. Uh, like I said, 4K. You got 2.7K. Uh, 1080p. It can do it at 30 and 60 frames. Yeah, it does 70, 20 at 30 and 60. And you can switch it up to 120 frames per second on a 70p. Now, uh, 4K, most of y'all ain't going to be ready for 4K because a lot of people ain't ready for 4K like that. I ain't ready for 4K like that. Don't nobody got 4K TVs, a lot, a lot of 4K products. So, uh, not saying you can't use it. You can. It's just that if you step down, step down from 10K and, convert, and it goes to 1080p, you lose a little bit of quality, but you will have better quality because it was recorded in 4K, but you're just stepping it down to 1080p. Cool. So the video format it gets recorded in is MP4, typical uh, camcorders. There's loop recording. Uh, I'm trying to is it burst shots, 
five, ten, whatever. Um, it does. Uh, it got like a, I did say that it got sub timer on there. So that way you can set it and go run and haul ass and hop back in the picture. Uh, day stamp. You want to stamp it like a little watermark drawn in the background. You could take it off because that's gay. I already seen that feature. Got the white balance. It's good to have. Uh, the shutter control. Um, I'm trying to figure out and, and it just lets you know what operating systems you can use this. Um, view angles, uh, 170 degrees, whatever that means. I don't care. I just need to know if this lens is cool. If everything look Gucci, that's all I care about. LCD screen is two inches. Of course, that's measured from, or from one corner to the, to the other on a diagonal scale, pretty much. Uh, I got an HDMI output. I got a speaker on there. It does come with a mic on there, so you don't have to worry about recording something that you can't hear. So, this is just, I don't care about all of that gay stuff, uh, whatever it is. I guess it, you can record of like, like home burglary, unless you home, you want to sit it down. Uh, you want to go diving, marine sports, whatever, outdoor sports, car recorder, like that DVR crap. That they like to, the people like to keep in a dash in case uh, just to pay attention for like accidents or just to catch something on the road when you're driving. Those are starting to become real popular. So I went already ahead and opened up the box already, of course. Sorry, I'm losing focus or whatever, but give me one second. I've been winning and opened up the box because I had to test it out. So the way I'm pulling it out is the way, is, I mean, it's exactly everything you see. Nothing else is in a box. So, of course, you got the camera right here. Let's sit that right there. Uh, comes with these uh, the basis and the clips and the mounts and all of that You're not going to know exactly what you're going to need until you you get to that point like all right Let me try this chumpy out or let me try this. I don't know what you need exactly I don't know your situation you figure it out. We got some velcro straps. They come in handy um, You got your USB cord uh, Takes the regular joint like the cell phones and this is just other mounts and Oh, yeah other mounts and bases and here's the, excuse me, oh, I got a burp, uh, the adapter, the block thing that goes with the USB cord. And this looks like this is a uh, uh, mounting base thing, whatever, I don't know, I don't care. Uh, this is another base right here. And they got different type of bases where it can rotate. Uh, just, I don't know where you want to have it angled. I'm, my, my base plates, I had one in a car and I left one on my cart, my tool cart. So I got it set up somewhere and I'm Gucci and I'm ready to go. But you could buy multiple ones. Um, now, zip ties, I don't know about zip ties. What you want to, why would they put zip ties in this? That don't even make sense. But here's more uh, base plates right here. And I don't know if you need it. Whatever, like I said, you figure it out. So here's the cleaning. Some idiots talking outside, getting all on my video. Here's, I dropped the cleaning uh, cloth little joint that you use to clean it. Don't use nothing else that's not soft because you will damage your lens. This right here, I don't know what it is. Look like maybe you could give it to your girlfriend or something. Put her on an ankle or a wrist and she got like a little anklet or a little wrist bracelet joint. Now, just as uh, whatever it is, uh, Chill Cam Smart. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the actual company that made this and snap on just pretty much put uh their brand on it their logo on it just like how they always do so i want to get into that so i believe that's probably the company but here's the one without the snap on logo in it so yeah that pretty much uh, that, that explains it all so um loud ass car or whatever um it sucks to be close to the to to this well i'm in the front of the house pretty much but uh that's what the room is so let me get this out of here so i don't we don't worry about all of this old extra stuff that whenever you get it that's up for you to read i'm just showing y'all how this works and i gotta get ready to kill this john soon so let me talk about what i think about this now let me move this forward and now i have the gopro hero 4 let me go ahead and whip that out and you can just tell you know that's just like having chrysler and then you got Dodge, or then you got Honda, and then you got Acura, and everything is always similar or always almost alike. So I'm not saying, like, you know, they copied off one another. I don't know the case. Whatever. I'm set my GoPro right there. It looks like the GoPro, like they went for it, pretty much. Now, I noticed there, I noticed mad things that's different about this. Like, for one, uh, like, it's lightweight. When I say lightweight, the GoPro is a little bit heavier than it. 
I can literally knock this off. I can stand this up on a desk and like literally uh, inhale and then blow that crap out and it'll knock it all over. Like literally, like like a little bit of look. It doesn't take much for this to fall over. Is what I'm trying to apply pretty much. I tried it with my GoPro. My GoPro is sturdy because it has the weight to support it. So it's pretty much lightweight. Um, the controls on it is similar. As you can see, you got this right here, and then you got that right there. It's very, very similar. Um, the buttons and the whole where everything is laid out is not exact. It just looks similar, but one was here before the other. So let me go ahead and take these out so you guys can see. Um, one thing I noticed about the battery, the battery got this, that, the GoPro comes with more amps. That battery comes with more amps. So this Snap-on version one comes with less. So I don't know how far you could go on uh, within like using it, how long it will last you. I don't know all of that. That's for you to decide. Um, trying to take this out of the the uh, the little skeletal uh, housing thing. And it looks like to take it out, you slide this over and stick your fingernail under here and then lift up, which is really dumb. So go ahead and slide it out now. I'm gonna set that right there so that way you guys can see so as we can see it looks very similar right looks alike um side by side comparison it's almost the same size maybe it's a snap on one is a tad bit light wider but the gopro is heavier than it um i know y'all wondering what's the quality i'll show you in a second just be patient i'm just doing a review so y'all y'all be cool y'all want to know how this works so Turn the power on right here. Um, one thing I don't like, as you can see, my GoPro, when I turn it on, just one second, oh, I got a little screen in the front that displays me something. This right here, when you turn it on, it's like you don't hear anything. Just hold on to it for a second or two, and then flip it around, and then you'll see. Um, let me put that off to the second. You'll see whatever uh, this crap comes up. Uh, the screen is, I don't know if it's bigger or actually it is bigger than the GoPro but quality wise the GoPro picture is a lot better uh, from the camera side um, one thing I didn't like about this is that it's not touch screen meaning that you you know gotta want to navigate through something you gotta you know hit through buttons it ain't you no know, what my GoPro I could just easily you know hit a few things bam bam Just like that, I'm in there. Versus, you can't do all of that with the GoPro. You want to switch in between your screens, just hit the OK button on the top. Actually, that starts a recording, so let's not record it. You hit the power button in the front. Keep hitting it, and it'll come over to your camera, 12 megapixels. Uh, and that's where they had a setup. Of course, you could change that. If you have 720 with your frames running extremely fast, that's up to you, whatever. I don't know how you want to do it. Uh, if you want to go to the screen where you want to play your videos, cool right there. The settings is right here too. And uh, whatever it is. Uh, if you want to go up and down once you select it, which you select it, you, you select this with OK. And then you use these two buttons right here. Um, one of them is Wi-Fi dedicated button, just like how on a GoPro uh, on the side. If you push the button, it automatically uh, connect you to Wi-Fi, get everything set up for you, so you can see this is where the microphone at, and this is the down button, up button, like I said, and then you'll see the Wi-Fi logo joint right there or whatever. So all in all, um, it ain't really nothing much to else to talk about. Uh, I mean, do I like it? I I will find out in a second after I watch this video myself. But here's a view of how it looks. Uh, went to a, a park around in the neighborhood. And just wanted something with a lot of space so that way it could get good coverage and everything. So uh, you can see the difference. To the left is the GoPro. To the right is the snap-on stamp version of the GoPro, whatever company. And uh, you can tell which ones look better. Clearly the GoPro looks better. Uh, I want to say it's too much off or... I mean, I mean, I could like say a lot of cons and stuff, but it ain't too bad for a knockoff gopro pretty much um i'm surprised snap on like went with this so clearly gopro has the better picture has the better device but the difference between the two and uh price wise is uh 
My man said he paid uh maybe a hundred thirty hundred and fifty, hundred and sixty, or hundred and seventy dollars for this. So let's say he ain't spent no more he didn't spend no more than two hundred dollars for this. He spent less than two hundred dollars for this. This GoPro Hero 4 is kind of old. I think they got the they what they on the sixth model now, probably, or the fifth or sixth model, I believe. Like this is a couple years old, maybe two, three years old. When it came out, it was literally over four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars for this, but that explains why it's expensive because of the quality it delivers. So, if we argue that the GoPro is better than the Snap-on one, well, let's just say the GoPro is more expensive, and it it, it comes with more, with more features and specs and stuff. So, uh, whatever you guys think uh, of this, would you buy this? Do you have this? You know somebody who got it? Do you like it? Whatever, leave it in the comment section. Uh, anything you want me to test out before, well, I can get, I'm pretty sure I can retrieve this camera back again once I give it the wrench and dread, but if you need me to retrieve it back from him and to do some videos, test it out, whatever, we'll figure it out. Um, just wanted to do a quick review, uh, let y'all know what I think about this product. Oh, real quick, you want to know, like, mounting straps, head straps, now... They didn't say anything on what website you could go to. Maybe in that little booklet thing that they left inside of the box. I probably could go to a website and order accessories. But the good thing about the GoPro is that I could go to Best Buy or Walmart or anything that has GoPro stuff. Walmart, Best Buy, got a Go, especially Best Buy, got a GoPro section. And in the GoPro section, it got all types of accessories, base clips, head strap, mounting strap, chest strap, whatever you want to use. Like, I use a head strap. The head strap I use for when I do my uh, how-to videos and stuff. And I, and I got both hands free. And I got something recorded on the top. I'm Gucci. I'm golden. But as uh, far as other additional accessories, that's something for you to figure out. Maybe I'll figure it out for you. Leave it in the description. I don't know. So, cut the video short. It's Lee Gauder Repair. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, look out for the next video. Any guys want any shirts? Shirts are starting off. But it's $20, of course. No, I'm, I'm sorry. The shirts is $25 plus shipping. So we'll figure it out. You get cash cash at me. Email me at leakautorepair at gmail.com. You can find that information in the about me section. So I ship wherever in the U.S. If you want me to ship internationally, I don't care. I'll ship. But you're paying for it. And we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Whatever. So um, what else? Follow me on the Instagram. Uh, Instagram is Lee Gutter Repair Gmail. I will, no, I'm giving it to you wrong. Give you my e uh, my email. It's just the same as my uh, YouTube. So it's Lee Gutter Repair spelled the exact same way. No, I'm not on Facebook, so I just do Instagram and uh, YouTube. Uh, look out for the community posts. I try to post, uh, get in more active because it's, that thing is no different than Facebook or Instagram. And it's a good way to interact with everybody. So I'll be sure to do some more community posts. And stuff uh anybody whatever questions y'all got comments concerns figure it out i ain't gonna hold y'all up so i'll let y'all